So today we're going to dissect Pathfinder's grappling hook from Apex Legends and remake it in Unreal Engine 4. The first thing I noticed with his grappling hook is the fact that it comes out as a projectile, much like how the guns work in Apex. I couldn't just do a hit scan for the grapple, I had to make a projectile for this and make it stick to surfaces on hit. For the rope, I used the built-in cable system in Unreal and attached it to the gun's muzzle, setting its segment value to 1 so that it wouldn't have any slack. With that done, the next thing I had to do is figure out how the actual grapple mechanic works. When hooked on, the player doesn't just get pulled straight towards the grapple point. Instead, it pulls the player both towards the grapple point and towards the direction where the camera is facing. Here you see it in Unreal. The arrow shown in blue highlights the direction that the player will get pulled. It's a combination of the player to grapple direction and the camera's direction. Lastly, I had to figure out when to detach the grapple. In Apex, it seems to detach when the player moves behind the grapple point. With that in mind, I use the dot product operation on the wall's normal and the player to wall direction to determine if we are behind the grapple point. Essentially, I'm using these two vectors and comparing them to determine when we should detach from the wall. After all is said and done, we have a grappling hook. Now, there are still some areas that I wanted to improve on. The grappling hook needed some visual upgrades, so I went into Blender and made two meshes. The projectile now starts in an extended state, then I switch the mesh when it attaches to a surface. Also, to give the grapple a nice sense of movement, I'll have to rotate the gun to face the grapple point. Well, that didn't work. Since the position and rotation of the weapon are not zero, I had to make a parent for it and rotate it instead. One issue I found while testing was the fact that the grapple point didn't update when the object that you're grappled to moved. I solved this by attaching the grapple projectile to the grappled object on hit. Now you can do this. As always, links to the project files are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any cool game mechanics you want to see me do next. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Also, I'll be live streaming on my second channel, DavyTI. I'd love to see you there. Links below. But yeah, thanks again guys, and I'll see you next time. So close.